Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Thursday, February the 3rd, and here are today's top headlines. A 49ers fan in a coma this morning fighting for his life after being attacked during the NFC Championship game at SoFi Stadium. And strong winds whipping across Southern California. A giant tree snapped, crashing into a dorm at a local college. Plus, the latest on the winter storm causing dangerous conditions from Texas all the way to New England. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Well, good morning to you on this Thursday or pre-Friday, if you like. I'm Chris Schaub. And I'm Megan Henderson. Glad you're with us. Uh, we will check your... Actually, let's check your roads and your weather with Ginger. Henry's will be in shortly. Yeah. But she's doing a little double duty. You're amazing, Ginger. Well, and I hope it's not slightly my fault. And we'll get to the explanation in just a little bit. But look at that. Of course, this is a view from Long Beach, and you get to see... I have to double check to see if they've renamed it the Gerald Desmond Bridge. I mean, formerly known as, and you see it, a great view of it, a little bit... Maybe of like a, a thin layer of fog, but not enough to slow anybody down, right? Check it out. So we've got current temperatures, 47 degrees here, San Fernando Valley at about 52. That's a great high temperature for our friends going to be in that uh, San Fernando Valley area. Here's the deal. Everybody's going to get some of those winds, right? I know for our friends in the mountain communities, man, that stuff was whipping. And it's going to be that way again today, probably continue throughout the next couple of days. Wind, winds gusting at almost 45 miles per hour in some of our inland areas. Orange County areas and of course for our friends in the Inland Empire those spots we will be tracking some of those strong gusty winds for you as well and that means slightly warm conditions with plenty of sunshine and beautiful clear skies for sure with all those winds and Henry always talks about it right we don't have that cloud cover doesn't trap in the heat so this morning it is kind of on the chilly side and you see it 45 for the Inland Empire and 24 in those high deserts where yeah you're gonna get all kinds of sunshine but lots of wind as well we want to talk about your ride and see if any spots will be impacted my notes just flew off if, <laughs> if any of those winds are going to start to impact your drive. But here's the deal. So this 91 freeway, if you have plans to be right at about the 241. So let's take you here out of Corona and then in towards Anaheim Hills. We have this fairly serious crash. May have been some injuries as well. And so you can see what's happening with a huge response. Hopefully they'll have it cleared soon. So fast track lanes, that's the way to get yourself around it. And so far the condition is a little slow. Once you move farther to the west, it does get better. So I know sometimes Henry takes this stretch of the 91 freeway, but here's the thing. Told him to make sure you don't take the five because this project goes until five. So I got the email and it did not originally sound like it was going to be a closure for all northbound lanes, but it is. And sometimes engineers will get on the scene. They have to change it and adjust what they do for the project here. Five North at Artesia Boulevard. You cannot get on at Valley View. You have to wait to get up to about Carmenita to get back on. They should have those detours set up. But depending on where you're coming from, you know it, right? 91 West takes that to the 710, takes you over to the 110, back to the 605 North to the five. Lots of different ways for you to get yourself around uh, what is shaping up to be kind of a slow ride. And again, they'll pick up at five. Sometimes they'll pick up even earlier. I'll send it back to you. Ginger, thank you. A San Francisco 49ers fan is in a coma this morning after being attacked at SoFi Stadium Sunday. 40-year-old Daniel Luna was at the NFC Championship game cheering on his 49ers against the Rams. Inglewood police got a call 30 minutes into the game of a man needing medical assistance in the parking lot. Doctors later determined Luna was the victim of an assault. He suffered trauma to his face, upper body, forcing him to be put in a medically induced coma. It's unclear if he was targeted for being a 49ers fan. We'll have more on the developing story coming up at 430. Strong gusty winds continue to batter Southern California. The winds have toppled trees and are making travel difficult on.